or to keep it from leaning as far back as it does. Where it leans back to is fine for me. That doesn't bother me. You see, this one has <clears throat> a whole different type of a base mount. <coughs> and these wheels, some of them will just flop right out of there. But <clears throat> oh, there's one. Oh, those are about the same as the other ones. They're not as deep as I thought. <coughs> but the... Uh, I don't have room to turn the chair to where it could show that, but those are really worn out. What I was thinking I would be able to do, and I, I could still do that, I suppose. I could use this chair a couple of days. I mean, if I'm outside working on stuff, I won't be sitting in it anyway. It'll just be in here, but, but this thing is so heavy. Anyway, I could... Uh, I might use it to set in <clears throat> while I'm work fixing this one because that was one of my big problems is if I have to set, if I try to fill that with some kind of epoxy or MF polymer, MS polymer or whatever, one of those things like that, then uh, I didn't have anything to set in in here. <clears throat> so now I, I could, I do. I do have, there's some, I have some more old chairs in the garage, uh, office chairs, three of them I think, but none of them I, I could stand to use in here. There's one that I might could use, but, because uh, it's the only one that'll lean back, the other two are straight up. One of them's old enough, to, it's, it's old enough to be an antique, and it's uh, not a thing wrong with it. Uh, you mean, I mean, other than being worn, but I mean the, the legs and all that stuff are perfect. Uh, and I went and sat in it. It's sitting by the dryer, and it was raining, and I wanted to go. I went in the, into the garage and opened the back door to to cool off because it was it, the rain cooled it off. <clears throat> it went from 88 degrees in here to uh, earlier at about... 10 o'clock or so, or maybe it was a little earlier than that, to 78.6 now. Went down 10 degrees. Gosh, that feels better. But uh, I, <clears throat> I have both windows open and my little fan set up that I think I showed a while ago. I don't know if I showed it, but uh, anyway. Uh, lost my track. <coughs> Of thought. So, um, I imagine my plan will be to just repair the base or buy the parts I need if I have to. Like the cylinder, I well, I haven't really got serious about looking for like a seal kit for the cylinder. I think it's I, t I try looking at how to take them apart a couple of times over the years and. Seems like I don't remember seeing, it's been so many years since I looked, probably at least 15 years, but I don't remember, I never took one apart, I know that, so. But just like any kind of hydraulic cylinder, I'm sure you could uh, could get it apart, you may just need to know the tricks, and uh, should be able, I think a lot of the seals in there are going to, just going to be uh, O-rings, so you may be able to just have a O-ring, a bunch of different sizes and O-rings, and uh, get a kit, you know, and then end up finding the right one but there may be a particular kind uh, you know that will stand up to the oil I don't even know what kind of oil exactly what kind of oil I'm sure it's some, is in there I've seen it it's come out of that that one I hit, got overheated it's not super thick but it's not super thin and it's just light brown in color it came out in the floor in the garage when I overheated it well anyway nice looking chair but uh, I don't see me wanting to use it for uh, any length of time. <clears throat> like 30 minutes would probably be getting me pretty uncomfortable. It's a shame because I actually like the looks of it and everything. The other thing is, I, I'm pretty sure this, uh, we used to call that Naugahyde. Uh, that's what it used to be called. 
Or at least there was some fake leather that was called Naga hide back in the 70s, I think is when it came out. But anyway, that Naga hide is going to sweat you to death. If it was hot in here right now, my, I would have already been... I think I might have... I've never sweat sitting in my other chair except for maybe this last few days when it's been, uh, you know, 80, 85 to 89 degrees in here. And nothing you can do about it. <clears throat> Got the windows open, you got the fan running, and that's all you could do. So anyway, um, okay, well I just wanted to, oh, okay, I just can't get the set, just can't get everything right. Don't like, I don't like, uh, I was going to just end, try to end, say something in the end of the video, I just keep rambling. Anyway, uh. Okay, there's my new chair and my old chair, and that's some plenty of things to think about if you're looking for a new chair. Is your old chair may be better than the new ones out there, for one thing. It might be worth it. You know, I thought, well, this chair is really getting old. Why well, spend that much money fixing it up? You know, base. Um, but. Uh, I already spent, well, I think I don't know, I really went into it that clearly, but since that other one, the actual metal mounting bracket had broke, I did weld it, but it, it was already starting to bend again, because the metal was already, it was too soft, that's why it broke in the first place, it was pot metal, not good steel, and uh, people always touting recycling things, well, that's what you get when you recycle steel, is crap, because it's... Uh, it's too full of impurities. Steel is an actually pretty hard thing to make. It takes a really precise process. And back in the days when, uh, you know, America made steel, uh, you never saw things that broke like that, ever. Yeah, you know, when we had our own steel. But, uh, and that's what China has always done. I didn't know it until recently, but th that's why they came up with the phrase. I heard it when I, when I was a kid. Well, We've always heard of you know what Chinese pot metal was you knew it was crap steel it was too soft and it would break I didn't know that it was actually recycled steel they just put all kinds of stuff in their in their uh, melting pots and uh, melted down and scraped the crap off the top and the dross off the top and make stuff out of it uh, anyway that's why that's one of the that's why Chinese metal is so crappy is because it's it's most all recycled. Uh, it's just got all different. I mean, you've got. Uh, there, I I don't know enough to spout up all the words. You know, different types of steel. But um, you've heard of Damascus steel on the internet, probably. I never heard of that when I was until the last few years. But uh, that's what they make the cool swords out of. You know. Ooh, I did the quotes. But. Uh, <clears throat> um, Anyway, there's all different grades of steel. There's all different grades of aluminum, you know, copper, everything. And and then when you get, you go from the different grades of it and the different uh, alloys that you put in it or don't put in it, uh, throw that all out the window and just put it all in one big pot and melt it down. All your scrap, everything, just as long as it stick to a magnet, put it in there. That's steel. Well, that ain't steel anymore. <clears throat> <coughs> so anyway, um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I don't know why I'm just rambling so much. So, uh, <coughs> yep. There we go. I, I just can't even <clears throat> stop rambling enough. Forget my my head's starting to go blank now. To uh, wind up my thoughts, so they're all out there here and there and everywhere through all these. There's gonna be a bunch of videos. What it'll be instead of one one video, unless I was to edit them together. But uh, I'm not gonna do that. So uh, nope. All right. Yeah, I've said everything a hundred times. So. All right. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I don't have my remote with me, so well, I'll have to get up and get it. There it is. <clears throat> All right.
Well, this is Don, and uh, that's my take on office chairs. Okay, bye-bye.